What's up, everyone? Happy Wednesday. We are back at the lake. Foggy morning here. Who's getting on? Who's getting on? Let's go. There's Dorney. First one on. Oh, Kevin Brady's here. We can start. We could start. Swan's over here. Fog on the water. All right, all right. Happy Wednesday. Halfway through the week. Not that it means anything, because we should be, uh... <laughs> Don't I work? Yeah, Pete, work every day. Way too much. Um, halfway through the week, but uh, that really shouldn't mean anything. Every day should be important. We shouldn't be looking forward to Friday. We should be looking forward to every day. So uh, let's see. Let's see. So today is a big day. Uh, I am flying out to Texas again to meet with my Apex brothers and sisters. Uh, go fill our heads with some knowledge, some networking. Uh, hang out with my brother Ryan Stuman. Uh, this afternoon, I'm going on my first podcast ever with my brother, Thomas Keenan. Uh, Step It Up podcast. So we're recording that this afternoon. So that'll be a podcast virgin here. Um, so hopefully Thomas is gentle with me. Uh, but uh, we're going to go. We're going to go talk about life. So uh, that episode will be coming out in the near future. I'll let you know. I'll share it and you can see what uh, that's all about. Uh, also trying to hook up my buddy Pedro, do his podcast, uh, Chronicles of the Modern Beast. So uh, we'll see if we can knock out two podcasts this week. Uh, flying out, got an 11.30 flight out of here and uh, coming back late Friday night. Uh, it's my son's birthday Saturday, my birthday Sunday. So when I get back, we're shooting upstate by Lake George and I'm going to spend a time with them. But uh, looking forward to tonight, um, I organized a little real estate focused uh, little dinner with a couple friends uh, and my buddy Thomas, and we're going to talk shop a little bit, talk about what's working across the uh, country, because we'll be with people from uh, Texas and Florida and all over, so uh, we can share some real estate love. I keep freezing. Uh, that's not good. Maybe I got to get closer to the mainland. I don't know. Modern technology, first world problems. Let's see, let's walk up a little bit closer. Let me know, let me know if it's getting worse or better. Any better, Dawn? Good, yeah, hopefully. So, uh, all right, so we're gonna message for you today. So uh, I was listening to a little Ryan Stuman podcast, getting my brain tuned up for uh, the event. And the episode that popped up this morning was crabs in the bucket, and it kind of rang a little bit. So uh, when you got a bunch of crabs in a bucket, and one is trying to get out, the other crabs grab that crab and pull them back in. Uh, if you ever watch live crabs and how they uh, move around in a bucket, when one's trying to get away, the other ones grab them and pull them back in. So in that same way, um, the force of average, which is super strong, because here I am again by myself, not even a shadow today, uh, the force of average pulls you back in. So when I started, decided to start selling real estate four years ago, uh, four years and a month or so ago, um, I had a bunch of people tell me, hey, I tried to sell real estate once and uh, you know, it's, it's not all it's cut out to be. It's hard, it's not worth it. A um, bunch of people told me that. Oh, I used to have a real estate license and uh, you know, it didn't work out. And I had a, a local agent in town basically said, good luck kid, you know, and laugh. Um, yeah, I outsold him last two years in a row. So, um, I started real estate four years ago, um, after years of flipping houses. And at one point, uh, it was, I guess around January, I, uh, got a letter in the mail and it was about from Hofstra about, uh, getting a real estate, you know, real estate course. And I said, you know what, let's do it. It's snowing out, it's cold out. And I did it. And I went 75 hours of school at night. Uh, those of you who know, I work full-time contracting job, HVAC contracting, so I have a full-time job. Um, so uh, that said, four years later, uh, I'm looking at my numbers. 
Um, I've sold 88, sold or rented 88 houses in four years part-time. Um, my team, I looked at our team numbers, uh, basically I carried a team, but Dawn's uh, doing a, trying to catch up to me. Uh, we're over 22 million in deals for the year. It's only halfway through the year. 22 million in deals. So all those people, crabs in a bucket, that tried to pull me back down and said, oh, I had my real estate license once and uh, you know, I sold one house and this and that, the other thing. All the haters out there that try and pull you back, that try and pull you down, go do it. Don't listen. Uh, who are you surrounding yourself with? You know, are, are you are crabs in a bucket pulling you back down? You know, when I said I want to do 75 hard, people are like, you're crazy, you're crazy. That'll never work. You'll never be able to do that. You know what? I did 75 hard. I lost 30 something pounds. Um, didn't drink for 75 days. All the stuff that people said couldn't be done, I did it. And no one uh, wants to see you succeed. I mean, I think people want to see you succeed, but they don't want to be outdone. So they'll constantly tell you that it can't be done, how hard it is, and how um they tried it once and it didn't work you know they tried weight watchers i tried weight watchers once and uh, i didn't lose any weight well you know you didn't try hard enough you're not me uh they're not you so uh just just watch who you surround yourself with and watch who your advisors are um i'm going down to texas to surround myself with some amazing people and those advisors um that i'm intentionally putting in my life are going to help me grow are going to help me learn and i'm hoping to help them grow and help them learn um, we got to think about it the opposite way. You know, are we building up the people in our lives and are we helping the people in our lives? Are we supporting the people in our lives? If someone comes to me and says, I want to get my real estate license, I send them to my buddy, Joe Sonona. They go over, take the course at Hofstra and I encourage them and I train them. And usually I bring them on my team and uh, I help them grow because, you know, we're all in this together. So uh, two sides of that. Who are you listening to uh, in your life? What voices are you listening to in your life? Are you following your gut? Are you following your dreams? Or are you listening to the people that are trying to pull you back into crabs in the bucket? Um, and then at the same time, don't be that crab in the bucket. If someone has a great idea or maybe not such a great idea, but you know, encourage them to follow their dreams. Um, advise them. If you think you can help them, tell them. Um, you know, it's, we're all in this together. I, I, keep, I can't say how important that is. Uh, from saying good morning to people uh, as you pass them in the day, uh, be intentional. Be intentional. Meet people. Build relationships. Um, you know, it's not hard to say hello to someone anymore. It's not hard to say good morning. And just something as simple as that is encouraging that person, putting a smile on their face. Um, you know, you're building them up. You're not being a crab that's pulling them back into the bucket. Uh, you know how many people I see now daily as I ride around in the morning? And uh, they see me and they smile because they know I'm going to say good morning. And uh, they say good morning back with a smile. It's just, it's so simple where it starts from. And then from there, it builds all the way up. Um, just, just make sure you're surrounding yourself with quality people, with positive people, um, and don't listen to uh, the naysayers. Haters are going to hate. You know, um, so many people have comments that really have no clue in the world, and uh, you really got to just got to cut out the noise and just, just do what's in your heart. Um, surround yourself with those positive influences in life, and uh, go out there and get it. Follow your dreams. Don't, don't surrender. Don't take no for an answer. Just do it. You know, when life gets hard. Just keep going, just keep going. We ride at dawn every morning now. We are 45 days in, I think. I think I'm 45 days today straight. We ride at dawn, 6 a.m. every day, rain, shine, hot, cold. We get up, we go. I decided that I wanted to do this. I decided that I want to do 365 days in a row uh, riding at dawn, um, 45 days in. And, um, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep riding at dawn. People told me I'm crazy. What are you going to do when the winter comes? When the winter comes, we'll figure it out. You know, maybe I'll ride inside on the stationary bike. Maybe I'll ride outside and freeze. Um, whatever's safe, whatever works. But we're going to keep riding at dawn. And I'm not going to listen to the people that are telling me that I won't be able to do it. And you're not going to make it and all this other stuff. Um, just cut it out. Cut it out. Just, just go for your goals and get it done. So that said, looking forward to everyone in Texas. Tagged a lot of people on here. So uh, we'll jump into the prayers today. We didn't get to hang out with Father Eugene this week. I'm missing him. Um, today is the funeral mass for um, a good guy, good friend, uh, Tommy Winters. Uh, taken too soon. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make it to the mass because uh, I'm going to jump on a plane. So uh, we're flying first class today, baby, too. Matty K got me the uh, cheap upgrade. So shout out to Matty K. But uh, all right, let's jump in prayers. I got to get moving. We got to get on a plane today. Uh, so, you know, fall, 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, please look over all the people in my lives, especially uh, the Winters family that are dealing with some tough times. Um, we don't understand why this stuff happens, but um, we got to be there for the people that are that are going through it. Um, you know, live life to the fullest. Tommy, 52 years old, four kids, great dude, great job, Malvern police officer. And uh, as time came, you never know when it's going to happen. So <clears throat> don't waste a minute of your life. Don't waste, waste a minute of your life not being happy. Don't waste a minute of your life not chasing your goals. Uh, God, please give everyone the confidence and the, and the faith and the support to, uh, to follow their goals, to get stuff done and to avoid being average. Um, give everyone confidence and love in their life and uh, surround everyone with positivity. All right, amen. All right, everyone, so I'm getting back on my ride. Um, my t-shirts are ready. Uh, I gotta try and get out to Belmore real quick before I get on a plane. Uh, my buddy Paul's hooked me up with the t-shirts. We ride at dawn t-shirts. So now if you ride with me at dawn, you get a t-shirt. So a little incentive. I'm, I'm come fighting a little uh, copy and I should say uh, Benny's uh, deal, where if you see his van, you get a t-shirt. So now if you ride with me, you get a t-shirt. So uh, you gotta ride. No one gets, no one gets a free shirt without a ride. So, uh, We've been riding at dawn and we have t-shirts. So Saturday morning, I am riding, uh, 6 a.m. I'll have t-shirts. We'll do a Long Beach run. I gotta make it quick because we're gonna go Long Beach back and then I gotta get upstate. So Saturday morning, 6 a.m., Scarcliffe Drive, Cornwall Avenue. Come get your shirt, come ride. We're gonna do 20 miles. We're gonna knock that out quick. And uh, that's it. So we ride at dawn every day, all day. Don't give up, follow your dreams, surround yourself with positivity. Go get some. See you in Texas tomorrow morning. God bless.